Allah Almighty has always challenged man and promised that every time you discover something, it will lead you to the confirmation that this revelation of the Quran is the truth and that Allah Almighty is indeed the creator and whatever he has revealed is the truth. سَنُرِيهِمْ آيَاتِنَا فِي الْآفَاقَ We will show them our signs in the horizons. وَفِي أَنفُسِهِمْ And within themselves. Yes, there is a telescope that is the most sophisticated created so far. Many nations came together in order to get this rolling, to launch it, the James Webb Telescope, into space, millions of kilometers, in order to find out what there is, that already proves that man did not know and does not know, because every day he is discovering more and more, yet people say, we won't believe what we don't see, subhanallah. They say we don't believe in the maker because we didn't see him. Well, Allah says, we showed you our signs, and Allah says, you keep going and you will keep going, but this creation, you will not be able to go beyond the point that Allah does not want you to go beyond. Haven't you heard? Ya ma'shara al-jinni wal-insi in istata'tum an tanfudhu min aqtari samawati wal-ard fanfudhu la tanfudhuna illa bisultan فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ Surah Al-Rahman, where Allah continues to say, which is it of the favors of your Lord do you, man and jinn, deny? Allah says, O man and jinn, go well within the skies and the earth, and continue therein, you won't be able to go beyond the point of the authority of Allah. When Allah authorizes or permits or allows you, you will go because He wants you to discover something. He wants you to know something. But Allah says it's only through His permission. Man existed for billions of years according to science. According to us, we know man existed from the time of Adam, may peace be on him, but we don't know exactly how many years. Science tells you billions of years. Okay, billions of years. Imagine it took billions of years for man to discover something simple. Simple like what? Did you know the closest star that you look at at night was there four and a half years before you actually saw it. When I look at a star at night, that star may not be there. Because why? The speed of light, four and a half light years away is the closest of the stars. So it could have dropped or like Allah says in the Quran, He uses it for a purpose. The stars, they call it a falling star in English. We say, Rujuman lishayatini, the pelting of the devils. That's what we say because it's revelation. Do you know it could have been there four and a half years back and not there anymore, but you're seeing it because of that speed of light for four and a half years. Then it came to your simple eye, Allahu Akbar, and you think you're a big deal, oh man. And guess what the James Webb telescope discovered and continues to discover millions of planets bigger than the biggest and larger than the largest and greater in number than ever dreamt of by man. And this is now in the news today and since a few months.